Today I'm gonna tell you how to edit videos and some helpful editing tricks that will make your videos better in Mopavi Video Editor Plus 2022. Hi, my name is Otho Weiner, this is the Mobavi vlog and on YouTube you will have to edit a lot of videos after a while. So it's extremely important to use a tool that firstly will be convenient to use and secondly will speed up your process so that you can make more good videos that will get impressive audience retention and YouTube will promote your channel further in recommendations. But having one tool is not enough, knowing various techniques is also very important and that's what we're talking about today. If you run the video editor from the mobile video suite, it's need to be noted that developers have improved the interface of the main menu. It became very intuitive. Now it will be easier for you to navigate among all these elements and moreover, there is a built-in recommendation system that will suggest what you need for your tasks only. And as a nice update, the new version of the suite gives you the opportunity to change the dark version to the light one and back again. So that your eyes are pleased. Okay, let's launch Video Editor Plus from the suite and start editing. So if you don't like how the basic cut looks like, meaning when you're talking to the camera, you forgot something, then there's a rough cut and you keep on talking. In this case, you should use the number one technique that every new YouTuber should actually know. These are the so-called crop ins and crop outs. They create the illusion of a second camera and this makes your video a little more professional. For example, this is what the image looks like initially, the shot that you're currently watching. This is a regular full HD 1080 video. But in this shot, it's the same shot, but digitally cropped. And here it's important to understand that zooming in the video with a resolution of 1080, you lose quality, slightly, but you do. However, when uploaded to YouTube, the video is compressed and almost all viewers will not notice the difference. And yet, if you have the luxury of shooting a video in 4K, then you have the opportunity to crop the video in two times without loss of quality. And if we take into account the above set, then even in three or four times. And using such a technique, it feels like you have one camera that takes your close up and the second one, your medium. And this is a really good way to smooth the rough cuts. To make this crop in in the mobile video editor, go to the crop and rotate section, crop the shot as you need, and click apply. And pay attention how intuitive the interface is. You don't have to spend a lot of time watching various tutorials, lessons, literally you head over and use it. All the tools and presets are there to help you get many operations done in a few clicks. The app doesn't require the latest top of the line computer to run smoothly and its subscription format can give you access to all the features and updates that will be released in the following 12 months at a lower price. The handy set will help you highlight important parts of your videos and add stylish titles. The colorful gradient pack is a new bold effects collection that will be perfect for YouTube videos of any topic. Once installed, the effects will be built into the program so you can apply them to your clips in no time. If you like the offer, hit the link in the description to get a 15% discount on both effect sets and the one-year subscription to Mobile Video Editor Plus 2022. The second tip that saved a lot of my time and I'm sure it will save yours is to record a video not in one big take, but in pieces. Because if you turn on the recording and start talking from beginning to end, you will have to watch absolutely everything in post. But if you prepare blocks and make one clip for one block, you will be able to understand much faster where a good take is and where a bad one is and quickly delete it. Moreover, if I realize that the take is dumb while recording, I show some bright object to the camera, for example, this playing card. In this case, before starting to edit, I scroll to the end of shots and delete all the failed ones. It's a time saver. Another tip that every new YouTuber should know is to edit on audio waveforms. Waveforms are located directly below the video itself on the timeline. With your talking head videos, after some time you will be able to understand what pauses between waves need to be cut so that everything sounds neat. You can even hide the video itself and only by listening and looking at the waves you can cut the video very quickly. Most people at the start look at their beloved themselves and then decide what to cut out and what to keep. I advise you to do the opposite. Try it, it works. The next tip 
is to use presets as much as possible. That is your intro, your graphics, various openings, all this should be done in advance so that you don't waste time. In Movoe Video Editor, everything is already sorted out by sections and folders. For example, you can go to the title section in the left menu and then all kinds of folders appear. Basic, artistic, opening, speech bubbles. These templates can be easily dragged over to the timeline, adjusted by timing and easily edited. Moreover, there are many other templates for different styles in the effects store, which is why we constantly focus on such effect sets it saves time. And another tip that will save you a lot of time in the future is to create one folder where all sort of different clips, images, effects for your videos are stored. What beginners do is they edit one video, upload it, then edit another one, put it together again from scratch, and so on in a cycle. And what's even worse, they can delete all the footage they've used before. So you either try to find music, images, sound effects from past videos every time, or you start your search process over again because you deleted everything. Create a folder on a separate hard drive where all essential footage will be stored. You like the track? Saved. Like the image? Saved. You made a cool b-roll by yourself? Save it. And before editing each video, drag this folder into the program, it will save you a lot of time in the future. Without going into the color correction details, here's a quick tip that will make your image better. Add some contrast and add some saturation. That's it, moving on. Okay, it's clear that this is a very rough simplification of color correction, but if we take the very basics, then the contrast in most cases will look nicer and more eye-catching. We all love contrast, and statistically, people prefer a more saturated and brighter image over a dim and pale one. For example, what will you choose, this image or this one? I think most of you will stop at this one, although the difference here is only in contrast and saturation. Just two sliders. Therefore, if you're just starting out and you don't have time to dive into the details of color correction, just add a bit more contrast and a bit more saturation. Use effects in your videos or filters and transitions as it's called in the Movavi video editor. The main idea is not to go too far with them, but you need to use them 100% because they draw attention. The crop ends I mentioned at the beginning of the video are actually effects too and, and they also help to hide defects, which is very cool. For the same purpose, you can use a glitch effect to hide something or to enhance something up or some kind of a digital transition to separate topics of a conversation. All this needs to be done because it increases audience retention of your videos. The main thing is not to overdose it. And the last advice is to edit in a good mood, but with a number of disclaimers. Obviously, if you are editing in a good mood, you will come up with more cool ideas and the video will be better. But it shouldn't be to the harm of your channel's schedule. Otherwise, you can sit for a month without mood and not to post the video at all. And how to edit all the time in a good mood? The best way is to create triggers that will put you in the best condition for editing. By triggers, I mean a workplace organized for editing, where nothing distracts you. Organize this place and for the first time edit a video in a good mood at this place. Put your phone in the airplane mode so that nothing distracts you. If you make several videos like this, it will be much easier for you to make each new video. In simple words, your brain remembers how to behave in this place and you will edit it quickly, efficiently and in a good mood almost every time. And of course, keep the workplace well organized and sit in a proper chair. This also greatly affects efficiency. If there is a mess around the monitor in front of your eyes, you're unlikely to put together a decent video and if you do you will exhaust greatly give a like if this video was helpful to you and also take a look at this videos to become a cool youtuber wait for the next video and see you soon